Welcome to another tutorial video. My name is William. In this video, I want us to talk about how to generate PDF files using a package called mpdf in a Laravel application. So I want us to just search for this package. I'm going to search mpdf and I'm going to tag Laravel like that in Google search. And we are going to get the first one. The first link that we have here is the one that we are going to use. My internet is dragging a little bit, but yes, it has uh, opened. And so I want us to go ahead and use this package. So you can see for installation, you're going to uh, copy and paste this in terminal and use. And then we have the basic usage on how we can be able to use this package. And then the settings that you can be able to put, even though in this case, I will not go into much of this. At your time during your use case, maybe you might be able to find use for all that. So let us go ahead and install. So what we are going to do is to run this uh, command composer require Carlos menaces forward slash Laravel MPDF. And that is what I'm going to paste in my terminal. I'm going to hit enter. And this command will be able to install for us this package our application is the package is fully installed i want us to modify some a few things inside our views welcome.ph.blend.php i want to delete everything here and just put basic html5 code and inside here in this uh, first page i want us to just have a link so you're going to have an anchor tag that you'll be hitting or in other words, fetching our PDF. So in this case, I just want it to go to the route called PDF, like that. And then we will close it that way. And then I need to create another view. So new file, which I'm going to call users.blade.php. And in this case, in this uh, file, we will also have HTML5 code. And inside here, I want us to have a table. So we are going to have a table. And inside the table, we have the table head. And inside the table head, we are going to have table, uh, maybe table header, like that. After that, we will have the body, T body. And inside that, we have T row. And inside the row, you have T data, like that. So on the header, we are going to have the number. So in this case, we will number our records from um, one onwards. And then we will have the name, name of our user. And then we will have the email address, just the basic stuff that is usually in the users table. So those ones are three things. So also for the table data, I also want us to have three things. So we are going to have it like that. And the first one is going to be the, in this case, let me just loop through users. So in this case, we can have at for each uh, users as user like that. And then of course you're going to close the loop and for each and inside here the first value i want it to be the loop over the index so it will list our values beginning with zero one up to whatever the records you reach so i want to add plus one such that it will begin at one and here we are going to have the user name user name and then of course we are going to have the user email that way. So if we are to test and see, why does just visit localhost 8000 and see? It seems we are having it um, like this. Let me just see if I'm running my server. And I think it's running, yes. Probably I've not saved this. So let me go ahead and save. Let me attempt again and see. 
there's nothing that is showing so yes because i've not typed anything inside here so inside our link maybe i can say download users pdf file so now i think it will display a link that is nice if i click on it this it will be it will lead to 404 because we have not been able to create the, the other route so let us go ahead to our web.php and create that route so inside here i want to do a cleanup of the commented code that we have here and i just want us to create another route now i want us to have route get pdf and then we have function and inside here we are going to have the code that you'll be able to load for us our pdf and what i want us to have inside here we just want to have a data property so in this case you have data and i'm going to set it to an array of values so in this case inside here we are going to just pass in all our users so in this case you have uh, users we are going to set to user all like that and after that we can be able to have pdf save it in a variable pdf and we are going to call pdf and then uh, load view and inside here we can be able to call our file in this case we have called it users.blade so it's the one that you load our pdf so you call users and then since we have data here i'm going to pass in the data like that then finally we are going to return pdf stream and then we can be able to now call the name of uh, our pdf so in this case we can call it users.pdf we can call it a different name it you still just pick the name so in this case let me just call it users.pdf obviously above here i need to include the user model use app models user like that and then of course we have not been able to generate users in our table i have not even done migration so let me just uh, click on the env file and and change the name of um, our database in this case i'm going to call it mpdf like that once we have it i'm going to save it and i also want to go to database and then uh, cedars database cedar and i want to uncomment uh, the first line that we have there such that we'll be able to generate 10 users or maybe i can be able to change this to 100 let me do that and then after that i need to do migrations so i need to once i have set that up i need to do migration such that we migrate our tables so i'm going to in terminal run the command php artisan migrate it's asking us if we would like to create our database called mpdf because it does not exist i'm going to type in y for yes and our migrations have successfully been done I want us to now seed our database with the 100 users. I'm going to run the command php artisan db seed and it has seeded 100 users in our database. So I want us to again go back and attempt and try. So I'm going to click on users PDF. Now you can see that we have the list of the 100 values of our users inside uh, this pdf that we have here so basically that is how you can be able to load the the pdf maybe i can be able to just go ahead and give a title here so maybe i can just give a title inside our users so we can say um i want us to have a, an h1 tag and then we are going to just inside here say users list if i'm to ref go back and refresh to just capture the changes if i click on download now you can see we have users list and we have our users listed in this uh, sort of table 
Thank you very much for following this tutorial video up until this point. Subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell such that you may be notified when I upload another awesome video. You can also go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. And you can also share your comments inside the comment section and share the video. Thank you very much.